Guru Murthy, editor of Tughlaq. Uh, Mr. Guru Murthy, really appreciate your time, sir. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will install the singol in the Lok Sabha, prominently close to the speaker's podium. Where did this idea of singol come from? Uh, you know, it's historical evidence, if you can recall, for our viewers. See, the idea of uh, singol being in parliament is probably the government's idea and the prime minister's idea. But the fact that the single ceremony took place and it had high uh, value and uh, profoundness was brought to the notice of the government by uh, the dance artist Dr. Padma Subramaniam. She translated an article which I had written in the Tughlaq, uh, citing various uh, uh, evidences that the, that the ceremony took place. She translated that article and wrote a mail to the Prime Minister sometime in uh, 19, uh, 2021, okay. I think June or July. And she felt that this must be made public because this incident is not known and the single has disappeared. But it was a very great event which the national leadership had agreed in 1947. And it was she who wrote that letter and that, that triggered the government into action. But that was in the context of the 75th year of India's independence. Hmm. And I think uh, the place where it should be, obviously it has to be in a high place. And the Prime Minister felt the, the place where it should be is the parliament. Mr. Guru Murthy, you know, we are seeing a lot of opposition come in on Sengol and, and the Congress is of that opinion that there is no recorded history or no evidence to suggest that it actually symbolizes transfer of power and if anything this is distortion of facts. I tell you it's a very unfortunate thing they are speaking against record. It is all proved by the uh, several uh, testimonies available that the event took place. The only point which the Hindu newspaper had raised today was whether it was in fact given to Mountbatten, taken back and then given to Pandit Nehru. Hmm. It is the first part which was disputed, that the second part was never disputed, it is not being disputed, it is completely proved. Whether it was given to Mountbatten and taken back from him and given to uh, Jawaharlal Nehru was disputed and there also the Hindu said it is, it, it is on thin evidence. But unfortunately the Hindu newspaper, Hindu newspaper did not look at the most crucial evidence which was available in the compilation itself which it is referred to as thin evidence that the Adinam's contemporaneous record had described the whole event and it is not done today. They had recorded it in 1947 uh, itself that this is how it took place and they have said that uh, Mountbatten asked uh, Pandit Nehru what should be the ritual to be followed and Nehru was confused he asked Rajaji Rajaji being a man of wisdom and a man of history and a man of uh, learning and also a man who understood the traditions of India recalled that uh, the Chola kings used to follow a particular tradition of Sengol being handed over when power is transferred and he asked the Adinams who used to perform this to come and do this. And there the Adinams record is hmm. a contemporaneous record. They didn't, I mean, they could not have visualized all these disputes which were to come. They had uh, set in their uh, record, in their history, that this is how it took place. They handed it over to uh, Mountbatten, took it back and then gave Gangajal Abhishekam to it and then handed over to Nehru. This is a contemporaneous record. This was available in the compilation which the Hindu newspaper looked at but did not look at this particular document which is the critical document. So how to say that this did not take place? Okay, so if the Congress party is saying that it did not take place, will it be seen as disservice to the rich culture of India? That if you're not aware of history doesn't mean that history doesn't exist. I, I, am not, I am not going to get into Tutu Meme. I have say, told what is on record. I have tweeted all this. 
you can look into it i am not here to say uh, what x is doing i can, i am only saying what is on record okay and you have to take it and leave me at that okay mr gurumurthy why do you think we have never heard of this for so many decades why was it hidden or many would say not talked about uh, despite it existing that is true that who, those who did it will have to explain i am not even going into it the farthest i have gone in this matter in the interviews that i have given is how did this singol disappear who made it disappear and who trivialized uh, trivialized it as the walking stick of pandit nehru is worth inquiring because that is the way our we are dealing with our past okay then how did it actually become uh, or get mislabeled as uh, pandit jawaharlal nehru's walking stick how do you think that happened i am i am not going to explain but how did go into uh, how a protocol agreed between two governments go into a museum whereas it should have been in a very profound place that's it is these are all issues but that it went into a museum and somebody described it as a walking stick is all matter of shame i don't want to get into it it's a matter of fact it is the people who did it who will have to explain and i think this government in my view will have to cause an inquiry as to how a high national symbol uh, received such a treatment i don't want to go beyond that okay okay mr guru murthy my last question to you is this just the beginning will there be or should i say should there be more pieces of history that we'll find out about in future i don't know if if such pieces of history is there it must be brought out but i don't know because i can only speak of what i know what i found and i cannot speak of what i don't know but if such a thing exists then it has to be brought out because no country can ignore its history even the marxists who ignored the history xi jinping has begun calling recalling 5000 years of chinese history chinese civilization Mr Gurumurthy always a pleasure to speak to you thank you so much for your time